Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with Dell's Alienware 17. 17-inch 17 gaming notebook, newly refreshed for 2017. I guess we got a few 17s going on here. It's now retooled with Intel's 7th generation KB Lake Core Series processor technology, specifically a quad core inside this laptop, as well as NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1080 graphics engine. So at nearly 10 pounds, this is definitely a heavyweight class gaming notebook, but as heavyweights go, it also packs some serious punch. So let's take a look. Dell's new Alienware 17 is a no-holds-barred beast of a gaming notebook for users that want a large 17-inch machine with ultimate firepower. On board our review unit is an Intel Core i7-7820HK KB Lake quad-core processor at 3.9 GHz, but it's also overclocking capable up to 4.4 GHz. Gaming chops are powered by none other than NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1080 GPU with a full 8 GB of GDDR5X memory. Lower power NVIDIA GeForce 10 and AMD RX 400 series GPU are also available for configuration as well. Also on board is a 512 gig Toshiba XG4 M2 NVMe solid state drive, an HGST 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz memory. Take those top shelf specs and drop them into a newly redesigned chassis composed of anodized aluminum, magnesium alloy, steel, and a bit of polycarbonate, along with Alienware's traditional custom lighting trim, and there's no mistaking this machine for anything but a truly enthusiast class piece of gaming gear. The new chassis positions most of its thermal solution in the rear of the machine in what Alienware calls a hinge forward design. This allows for not only more rear I.O. options but higher thermal dissipation with larger fans and less wine from those fans. It also allows the machine to be 13% thinner though it's still no dainty flower at 1.18 inches thick, 13.1 inches deep and 16.7 inches wide. The AW17 also weighs 9.74 pounds with its standard 68 watt hour battery. The keyboard area of the Alienware 17 is expansive and spacious with a cavernous 2.2 millimeters of key travel a full-size numpad, and the usual column of nine Alienware Tactex programmable keys for custom control and configuration switching. Those keys are also backlit, as well as the AW17's large trackpad, which you might think looks a little freaky, but we actually really like the aesthetic. The palm rest area is also less prone, though not completely resistant to fingerprints and smudging now. And finally, all of this desktop replacement notebook's lighting, across 12 different zones in fact, can be custom configured in over 80 quadrillion lighting combinations in 20 different colors, according to Alienware anyways. Yeah, that's quadrillion, with a Q. And of course, you get that iconic illuminated alien head logo on the top of the machine's lid. The left edge of the machine is home to some venting, a noble lock port, a USB 3 type C port, a USB 3 type A port with power share, a headphone retaskable microphone line in port, and an audio line output port compatible with inline mic headsets. The front edge is home to a 2.1 speaker configuration with an included bottom firing subwoofer. The sound system on this machine offers great volume output and probably some of the best low end response we've heard from a notebook product. It's actually quite good. Again, for a laptop. The right edge has yet another vent and only a single USB 3 type A port, but on the back edge, that's where all the action is. Here you've got a gigabit ethernet port enabled with a Killer Networks E2500 gigabit gaming NIC, a mini display port 1.2 port, HDMI 2.0 output, a Thunderbolt 3 type C port with a full 40 gigabits of bandwidth for connectivity and display output, an Alienware graphics amplifier port for external graphics, and the power adapter port. And as you might imagine, the AW17's power brick is stout to be sure. The display option we have in our machine is a 17.3 inch QHD display with a 2560 by 1440 native resolution, though Alienware offers other 4K and 
1080p IPS options as well. This display may be the sweet spot, however, because though it's a TN plus wide viewing angle panel, it also has a 120 hertz refresh rate, drives 400 nits of brightness, and sports both NVIDIA G-Sync and Tobii eye tracking technology. More on Tobii in a bit, but with NVIDIA G-Sync combined with the GeForce 10 series GPU on board, you get smooth, jitter, and tear-free gaming since the panel's adaptive refresh capability is perfectly timed with graphics output. In terms of overall image quality, this panel offers solid brightness levels, though perhaps a bit flat and washed out at certain viewing angles versus an IPS display. That said, this still feels like the optimal panel choice for gamers, especially combined with a powerful GPU like the GTX 1080 that can push frame rates more in line with the panel's high 120 hertz refresh rate. But what of that Tobii eye tracking? Well, it's an interesting and I'd say promising technology that's still evolving. In combination with the machine's HD cameras and infrared presence and movement detection technology, Tobii Aware software and Windows Hello capability offer some cool features like wake on gaze and dimming and lighting adjustments based on user position and attention in front of the machine. In addition, there are about 100 Tobii enabled game titles out currently where you can actually control things like weapons targeting and object marking simply by it tracking your gaze. There are lots of popular game titles currently supported like Ghost Recon Wildlands, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and here in Rise of the Tomb Raider you can see the camera is panning with my gaze and head movement. I'm off screen a bit here so you can see the game fully, but the bill of my hat will tip you off as to where I'm looking on occasion. As you can see, the camera is panning in the game as I look around and move my head, and I'm not touching the keyboard or mouse at all. And performance-wise, as you might expect, the Alienware 17 is a juggernaut of a machine, scoring top ranks and general purpose benchmarks like PC Mark 8, but where it shines, of course, is gaming. In the aforementioned Rise of the Tomb Raider, at native 2560 by 1440 resolution of our display, with maximum image quality settings, how does 92 frames per second work for you? Just buttery. Kicking back with a little Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, also at 1440p on ultra settings, we're treated to 114 frames per second, like a hot knife through nasty orc vermin. A little more challenging still, Tom Clancy's The Division, also on ultra settings at 1440p, buzzes along at almost 70 frames per second, with exceptional visuals. For a quick gander at synthetics, in 3D Mark Firestrike on the Extreme preset, the Alienware 17 scores much like a full-up, high-performance desktop PC, pushing this challenging benchmark along smoothly where other notebooks might make it look like a slideshow. Here the AW17 is able to chalk up a healthy 9,433 3D marks, and it almost goes without saying, this machine is also more than VR capable. And for future expansion, though you can't upgrade the CPU or GPU of the AW17, removing the bottom panel of the laptop does give full access to its M2 PCI Express SSD slot Lot, the 2.5 inch hard drive bay, and the machine's DDR4 SODIMM sockets. So what's not to like about the all-new Alienware 17? This is a seriously powerful, full-featured 17-inch gaming and desktop replacement notebook with great build quality, exceptional performance, and just about any cutting-edge feature you could squeeze into a system like this that's at least semi-portable. If we had our druthers, we'd like an NVIDIA G-Sync enabled IPS panel option. And without question, its $2,949 price tag as tested is a serious commitment that likely requires significant other approval up front if you have one. If you're the free and easy type, good for you. You can always dial specs back a bit to save a few pesos as well, rather than going for the loaded for bear urban assault vehicle setup that we tested. Ah, but that's how we roll here. So make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full write-up on this gaming gladiator and toss in a thumbs up and subscribe to us here for more tech product review mayhem, event coverage, and our always entertaining Two and a Half Geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for hothardware.com with the Dell Alienware 17 Gaming Notebook. Thanks for stopping by.